Hey folks and welcome back to some Dark Souls 3. Uh, my apologies for the game sound yesterday. It was uh, not what I would have liked it to have been. The sound effects were down to 2. I'm going to pop them up to 4. And I'm just hoping that that's not going to drown. Actually I'll do 3 and we'll see how that goes. And then I can always change it again next time. So if you notice in my hot bar, in my uh, hood, I have 20,000 souls. And there's a reason for that. She has a key. I want it. Ah, oh, how... Sell me a key. Yep. That's a lot of level ups. Action one. Whatever. Uh, now, few things. First of all, I found new armor. I was killing those red knights and they dropped this. Now, I wonder, can I still medium roll with it? I can. Now, next question is, can I medium roll with the legs that go with it? I cannot. Okay, so we're going to be going with the leather. Where are you? Do, 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 do. Hard leather. And we will. Yeah. Okay, that's much better. Right. Uh, I think the key I just bought is the key to the, the tower that's up here. I, I knew I was going the wrong direction. Uh, hang on. What? I thought the tower was up here. I'm confused now. Uh, huh? Oh, it's up here. Right. I still find the architecture in this place really confusing. But anyway, yeah. I really wanted to get into this tower. I'm hoping this is the right key. It's the right key! Huzzah! Uh, now the real question is, am I going to be met with anything nasty? Oh! I also found out why this sword is fate scaling. Holy crap, that's a drop. Um, when you left trigger and you do that, it costs fate. That's why it's also... Uh, oh, there's a crystal lizard down there. Hmm. I want to just plunging attack it, but I know I'm not going to survive it, so uh, let's not. Now, what's in here? Well, there's stuff down there. This side? There is at the very bottom. Okay, and we have... Oh, where are you taking me? Wow. There is a lot more to this location. Pointless ahead. Probably, but you know what? We're still going to do it. Because we can. Time for a jump. Yeah, I don't think so. Kind of looked like somewhere where there would be a lo an illusionary wall, but uh, yeah, I'm so not jumping down there. I don't even want to run up here. I'm going to, but I don't want to. New. Okay, let's try this way. Higher and higher we go. Okay. Seems familiar. Oh my... Is this the bell tower where the... Where the, um... Belfry Gargoyles work? Because that would be awesome. Firekeeper's soul. This looks very familiar, actually. Looks like there's an item down there. Which is strange, because that's the way I came. If I can get on top of that roof, maybe I can get that item that's uh, just ha hanging off of a rafter. Okay, anything on either side. Now, how am I going to do this? Uh, oh, that was horribly close. Firekeeper's gear, that's nice. Um, Estus? I can't believe I survived that. 
I should not have survived that. Man, there's a lot of dead bodies down here. The Estus Ring. Now, what are you when you're at home? Increases health points restored by Estus. Yes, please. This was so worth coming down. This alone was worth coming down for. Oh. Oh. Um. I don't think I have a choice. My god, the bleed damage. Wow. Okay. So we're going to kind of go up there again, but we're not going to go out that door because that door is bad. That door is very, very, very bad. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, I have a Firekeeper's Soul. Is it her I talked to? Welcome, speak then. Give Firekeeper's Soul. Ashen One, this is much like what lies within me. Then let it find its own place within my bosom. She will understand. We are both fire keepers after all. The fire keeper is now able to heal the dark sigil. Forgive me, sister. May the flames guide thy way. Okay, I don't know what the dark sigil is. You do not have a dark sigil. Okay. Farewell, Ashen. Yeah, 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 that's nice. Love you talking to you, missus. I am going the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> imagine that. I am going the wrong way. Ay. Okay, we're going to go back up. I want that. Uh, the hell? Okay. Why was there a fog wall? Right. I want to get that tight, nice, uh, that crystal lizard if I can. Just not entirely sure that I can. Um, ooh. Is that Snuggly? It is, isn't it? You. You. Me, me, pickle pea. Me, me, bumperum. Right. Uh. Uh. Do I have anything I can drop? Now, that is the real question. Uh, wait a circle. No, no, no. I don't think I have anything I can... I wonder, could I leave? You... You... No... No... That no pickle pea... That no bumperum. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what you're looking for, mate. Sorry. Okay, now that's the way into the tower. I can hear the bastard. I can hear him. Twinkling tight night. Nice. Or is it just me or is this does this seem ripe for illusory walls? Uh maybe I'm wrong. Come on. There has to be something here. There has to be a reason. Beyond what I'm immediately seeing. Come on. Be nice. The 
it's funny. Sometimes it's... Sometimes it sounds like there is an illusion. Aha! It was worth coming up here. Okay, we'll just go around a little bit more and make sure we haven't missed anything. This is why you always look. Homeward bone. Three of them, actually. That's nice. That is a nice find. Now, there was an item down there somewhere that I missed. I'd like to see if I can figure out where it is. Aha! Is that an item? It is an item. Okay. So I need to go out the gate and around to that tree. That's easily enough. Done. Uh, ooh. Is this another? You. You. Me. Me. Pickle pee. Me. Me. Bumperum. That's nice. Estus shared! Huzzah! That alone made this whole journey worthwhile. That combined with the Estus ring. Oh yeah. That 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 there is some good squishy. Uh trying to figure out where the best place to come off would be. Oh you son of a Bitch, you scared the shit out of me. Something good? East-West Shield. Okay. We'll have a look at that now in a second. Fading Soul. Okay. That was really, really successful. And I'm so glad I did that. That was worth it. Just just the shard and the ring was worth it. Never mind the... Exper the uh, the enjoyment of just the exploration. Now, my mate Jack did ask me to start reading some of the some of the item descriptions. Now, there was one in particular he mentioned straight away, which was the mail breaker. Small sword made for thrusting attacks. This is ha this hard edge of the sword can pierce through tough armor and boast a deadly critical attack. Skill: shield splitter. Aim carefully and attack a large in a large forward lunge to pierce through enemy shields and inflict damage directly. Now, the, the one that I'm actually curious about myself is this one. A well-crafted sword named after the, after the ruined land. Uh, Astora, before its fall, was a land replete with royal blood, and this weapon is both a reminder and heirloom of that era. Skill, stance. While in stance, use normal attack to break a foe's guard from, beho from below, and strong attack to slash upwards with a forward lunge. Oh, actually, I didn't realise there was a second one. Okay. Anything else interesting... Not a lot in that. Uh, I'd really like to see what it says about the ring. Actually, I'd like to see what it says about this too. A wooden shield decorated with the ancient symbol of the two-headed eagle close to a small shield in size. The wood shields are light, manageable, and offer relatively high magic absorption. Skill is a parry. Okay. Silver kite shield. Orthodox metal shield. Basically... Bloody bloody blah. blah, blah. Uh, iron round shield. Small shields offer little damage, but absorption and stability with their lightweight and ideal for parrying. No, thank you. Uh, typical, typical stuff. Uh, oh, armor of a celebrated Lothric knight. This coat of distinction has all but fallen apart. The knight has served as one of the three pillars since ancient times and serves and shares a place alongside the wyverns as a symbol of Lothric. Only those possessing a knight's resolve are fit to wear this garment. Interesting. Not really anything interesting there. Same thing there. Hang on, firekeeper stuff. Firekeepers were robbed of light to better serve as vessels for souls. Only those who cherish the rising, searing darkness are given the keeper's black attire. Dark. Uh, this ring was entrusted to a certain firekeeper, but in the end she never met her champion. And the ensuing tragic farce became a favourite tale of the masses. Right. <laughs> Uh, stone is said to be a tear of a sorrow of the goddess Kaitha, and of course tears are always more beautiful near death. Charming. Uh, da, da, da. A sacrifice is only worth as much as the life it spares. This wear will lose nothing but bring breaks. I wonder is it breaks or is gone? Now that's the real question. 
Fire keepers, yeah, manchets. Uh, hide item information. Yeah, it's it's not actually terrible gear. I mean, it's very light. But, mm, I don't know. Don't think I will be using it, however. How many souls do I have? I have 44 souls. That's not a lot. I think I'm going to crack... At, well, first of all, I'm going to use that Estes Shard that I found. And I'm going to crack a few souls. And I think I'm going to buy some arrows because I have some unfinished business. Ah, just good what needs. Alright, first of all, reinforce... Yes. Okay, that's six. Um... Now, I have stuff to imbue, like, a weapon with something. I'm just not quite sure whether to do it or not, because I'm not entirely sure of it. It's like, I have ref I have one refined, refined gem. Awesome. But I don't really know what it does other than... Maybe it increases the attribute bonus? That would kind of make sense. Actually, let's have a look. So if I do that, and I do that... Hmm. I'm guessing, yeah, it breaks the scaling. The raw breaks the scaling, but it increases the damage a lot. Hmm. Have a think about it, I think. Redeem. I'm always careful, man. I'm always careful. Okay, so we're going to crack a few souls. Uh, I'll crack all my faded souls. They're only worth 50 apiece, so... 700, that'll get me... Oh, and... <laughs> Get me a, actually I can sell some stuff, can't I? Yes, I can. I'm just talking to myself now, which is worrying. Sell, yes, yeah, sell, yes. I'm not gonna keep those because I get tons of them. I get two of those. You uh yeah, I think that's almost everything I have doubles of. Almost. Okay, those are worth. So those are actually worth farming for their soul value. That's kind of cool. Purchase. Uh, standard arrows, fire arrows, standard arrows. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh. Hang on a second. What? That said something about exceeded at maximum. Oh, you can only carry out ninety nine arrows. Oh, that's new. Longbow. Yep, we have unfinished business. And I also want to show how I've been farming souls and how I will no longer be farming souls. So we're going to travel to the high wall. And uh, there's, a, there's a few things I want to do in this recording session. I want to deal with the wyvern. Because I think it's actually a wyvern rather than a dragon. I want to deal with the mimic if I can. And I also want to explore a little bit down where we opened the shortcut to. And this is how I've been farming. So it's basically been whack-a-doodle, whack-a-doodle, whack-a-doodle. And then through. Go into stance. And this numnut here, if he sees you, he screams and he summons all the uh, aggro... All the mobs that you can actually aggro. I was going to try and say aggroable, but that's a mouthful. So, whack, that's two of them. And he dropped something. And then this. And then you. And then we go back to here. Tight eye shard. Just what I always wanted. Missed. Yeah, tight eye shards drop quite frequently. So, what I've been doing after that then is down to here and whack. And you can see my face points going down. Whack. Ooh. Deserted trousers. Okay, well, they're worth 30 souls, so... And that's you. And then I've been coming here, and... Uh... Okay, when he screams, you walk back to here. And you don't turn around, because you're just that badass. Okay, they're dead. Nice, firebomb. Uh, right, so that's what I've been doing. Now, I'm trying to figure out where the best place to attack that dragon is. Because I think there's about three places I can attack him from with a longbow, but... To be honest, I'm not entirely sure. Good. 
Goodbye. Yeah, see, I can target him from here, I think. I think. Yeah, see, I'm not actually sure if that's doing any damage from this range. Oh, you bastards. They did that again, didn't they? Invisible walls. Round shield. Okay. I think I need to get closer to him. Which is not something I'm fond of doing. So, uh, I'm going to go back up here. And we're going to go to the tower. And I think I should be able to... Give him a drumming from there. I hope I can, anyway. Tower on the wall. 